di basic cycle school nek ci bir kam jamisa ño lañu mom lañu ubbi juroom ñaar at gannaaw bo xane bi establishment bo nga xane nak ñi nga xam ñoo di ay sisters presentation bu meri ñoy ñi nga xam ne ñoko fa liggey bokké li lañu waxtu mën ñu ngi leena gëreem baaxa baax ci xibaari di gëreem itam ñi nga xam ne ñoo ma jappalé ci technique bi alaaji ñu doon ko jottali yalla meñu guddi jamm ñu faral jamm wa salam Coming up is Inside Trust Bank, next on GRTS. of the payment system um, has come to really expedite the speed of settlement in the whole system, the financial system as a whole. Um, we often say this is now in fact called the revolutionization of the payment system. As you may recall, it started with uh, what is called bilateral settlements. Then when someone takes another bank check to a bank different from the, the beneficiary bank, uh, the entire, the only option was you keep the checks that belong to another bank and move to the bank the next day so that you have a settlement between you two called a bilateral settlement. But um, over time, this uh, has gone to a level that uh, other banks, many other banks were involved and the issue of bilateral settlement could have brought some other uh, things that definitely a regulator would step in to address. This led to the um, creation of the clearing house called the manual clearing house in which all the commercial banks were meeting at the central bank of the Gambia each working day to exchange checks and then witnessed by the central bank for the final settlement to be done. This has now moved further to an electronic system called the ACP ACH which is the automated check processing and the automatic clearing, automated clearing house, I would say that again, automatic check processing and automated clearing house and what that means now, no more physical movement of bank staff to the central bank for the purpose of clearing their checks, or um, uh, better enough to say settle among banks. Now everything is scanned and settled electronically, and this is what has led us to one of the false components of the national payment system, which is the ACP, ACH. Um, but better enough, it's good that we hear everything on the national payment system from the um, uh, strongest source, which is the governor of the Central Bank of the Gambia, who has per heading the overall um, uh, uh, national payment system uh, modules. 
marriage. Mr. Governor, you are welcome to Trust Bank inside, inside Trust Bank. Uh, and um, uh, the payment system was rolled out. Uh, uh, it's being rolled out under your governorship. And Trust Bank, inside Trust Bank, comes to meet you to talk about the role of the central bank in general and the national payment system in particular. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mbub, uh, you know, for having me on the Trust Bank uh, program inside, you know, Trust Bank. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure. Um, uh, the uh, legal mandate of Central Bank of the Gambia is derived, you know, from the Central Bank of the Gambia Act uh, 2005. And the primary objects of uh, the central uh, bank uh, are one, you know, maintaining you know price uh, you know stability, promoting and maintaining price you know stability. Um, uh, the number two is the maintaining uh, the stability in the currency system of uh, the country. And number three is um, <coughs> achieving stability in the financial, you know, system. These are uh, the three broad, uh, you know, objects um, as defined in this of the central bank as defined in the Central Bank of the Gambia Act. Um, specifically, as it relates to payment system, again, the Central Bank of the Gambia Act 2005, you know, mandates, uh, you know, central bank. Two, one, um, uh, operate, you know, the payment uh, system, and uh, secondly, to act as the oversight uh, body of uh, the payment system, whether it is operated and owned by central bank or operated and owned by you know, an independent body, as it may, you know, exist in other jurisdictions. That was well said, uh, Mr. Bavano, but um, uh, it, it takes us to this question of um, uh, the essence of having a good payment system in the country. I mean, there are so many factors to be considered. Oh, if you like, uh, you know, there are <coughs> many, you know, objectives. But primarily, uh, the key one is if I may summarize it, is to ensure that uh, there is an efficient, you know, mechanism of payment and settlement in an economy. If I may also break uh, this down, you know, to some uh, few details. Um, one is to ensure that the uh, payment system in the country achieves a minimum, you know, risk, um, uh, as you may know. Uh, payment uh, uh, systems do have in, inherent risks. One uh, key risk is uh, what uh, we call, you know, settlement risks. So the main objective here is to uh, make sure that uh, risks that are faced by economic agents, including the commercial banks, you know, are kept uh, at a, a, a minimum. Uh, fundamentally, this is uh, the main objective of uh, the payment systems. But there are other uh, considerations, uh, Mr. Mbo. Um, uh, uh, let me take it from the angle of the central bank. Um, uh, we have, uh, you know, interest in this in the sense that uh, you know an efficient payment systems, you know, would allow you know, an effective implementation of. Uh, uh, monetary you know, policy, uh, but um, the commercial banks are in a better position to maintain you know, and, uh, uh, liquidity and uh, eventually the benefit of um, uh, efficiency you know, would uh, go to the customers. Having said about the good um, all the SMs and the, the good tidings of the payment system. We would definitely like to know the framework, the guidelines um, uh, in really achieving an efficient payment system. Sir, first of all, as I mentioned, alluded to earlier, it is derived from you know uh, the Central Bank of the 
Gambia Act, that is, um, uh, where centre-back